I'm Guy Cocker for GameSpot UK, and I was recently invited down to Rockstar's London studio to see L.A. Noir in action. The game is being developed by Australia's Team Bondi, whose producer, Brendan McNamara, you may remember from The Getaway. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. The headline feature is the extraordinary facial animation technology, which Rockstar promises is so good you'll be able to see when different characters are lying. Does it have the potential to be a game changer? Well, let's find out. Spill it, or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. L.A. Noir takes place during the late 1940s and puts you in the beat-walking leather shoes of recently returned decorated war veteran Cole Phelps. He joins the Los Angeles Police Department after coming home from the Pacific Conflict, and unlike most rock star protagonists, he's basically an all-American hero. Cole Phelps is played by actor Aaron Statton, who you may recognize from his role as Ken Cosgrove on Mad Men. Like other actors in the game, Staten's dialogue performance was captured using a technology called motion scanning, which surrounds the actor with dozens of cameras. The result is a cast of characters whose faces look and move with startling similarity to their real-life counterparts. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Eyes shift, lips quiver, and basic demeanor subtleties are all used to drive the game's crime-solving mechanics. Gameplay rewards deduction over dexterity. You'll need to be able to spot those who aren't forthcoming with information, or are attempting to lead you down a dud path in order to solve cases. At your disposal are three dialogue options for each conversation. You can believe what they're saying, doubt them, or flat out accuse them of something. Accusing a suspect by matching a flaw in their testimony to a piece of proof is enough to get them to roll over, giving up important leads. L.A. Noir looks to be doing a good job of putting you in a detective's shoes. There are adventure game-esque puzzles to solve, car chases, shootouts and interrogations, all wrapped up in a story that charts the rise of Hollywood alongside the increase of crime in 1940s L.A. What you shouldn't expect from L.A. Noir is a GTA-style open-world action game, though. While you can jump in your car and drive around the faithfully recreated Los Angeles, you won't be stopping to take your partner for a game of darts at the local pub. There will be events like Crimes in Progress that allow you to stop what you're doing and lend a hand to your fellow boys in blue. However, the idea will be to go from case to case in order to progress Phelps' career from traffic cop to homicide detective. This is your chance. Don't fail me. L.A. Noir flashed a lot of promise in our demo. It's trying a lot of new things, sure, but it also remembers that sometimes people just like to smash cars and shoot bad guys. We're sure to see more of the game in the run-up to its release on the 20th of May in Europe and 17th of May in the US, so keep it locked to GameSpot for more as we get it. This world is only temporary. I'm helping people be together. If ever there was a time for extracting a confession, this was it!